H.R. 1891 does nothing to improve elementary and secondary education. Ask the teachers. And eliminating the only federal program for foreign languages is not the end of it. Take arts in education and the associated economic growth. Uh, as a member of the Congressional Arts Caucus, I understand that arts play a crucial role in our society. They enhance student creativity. They provide Americans at all ages with the opportunity to view works of art and beauty and personal expression, to understand ourselves as a people, and they lead students to success in other areas. The arts inspire children to explore their own creativity and encourage positive development in the course of their educational careers. Uh, you know, the arts now have already been shoved to the margins when our schools need them the most. Uh, today, the members of the majority in presenting this bill are arguing that, and these are their words, that the arts quote, do not serve a federal role, end quote. So essentially they're saying that arts are a luxury to be funded in good times and ignored when budgets are tight. The majority couldn't be more wrong for all sorts of reasons. Now, the organization Arts Americans for the Arts points out that arts generate more than $160 billion every year in economic activity and five to six million jobs. So not only are arts good for our cultural development as a society, they're good for our economic development as well. We need to encourage students to be creative. Um, that's how they learn to create jobs as well and contribute to our nation's economic growth. We should listen. We should listen to the parents and the, and the teachers. They aren't asking for the federal government to make it harder for students to graduate with a well-rounded education. The gentleman's time has expired. I urge <clears throat> adoption of this amendment. I thank the chair.